Hello and welcome back to the LVM show. I'm glad you guys uh, had the time to watch my show. Mostly probably more today because people didn't want to go outside. It was kind of, uh, damn, now that I'm thinking about it, tomorrow, Friday, it's going to be a burning hot day. Saturday, guys. A lot of uh, double check with all you uh, events that you want to go to on Saturday because the parks are closing some of the events down because of the heat wave. Um, the heat wave is going up to like 100, right? I think it said 99. Some places are going to be feeling like 103. Uh, so when it's 99, it's not hot. Well, it's hot, but I'm saying it's not as so hot. It's the humidity and the... Uh, I, said, I think they said the thickness of the air is what making it hard to like breathe out there and everything. Because in some places, it'd be like 99. I, I remember last year I was in the Philippines and it was like 90. It didn't feel like no 90. I was outside jogging. I was like, woo, feeling the breeze. So there's certain places that when it hits that uh, amount, it's just okay. But we're not going to be okay. So if you don't have to go nowhere, Stay inside, or if you don't have an AC, act like you got to go to the supermarket for like a couple hours to buy something and <laughs> stay in the AC or <laughs> something. Uh, look for a way to get indoors uh, if you don't want to be outside. The pools might be packed. The beaches, or you know, are definitely going to be packed, uh, especially with everybody that's trying to get my color right now. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be in the beach trying to get some color out there. It is going to be packed. So that's one thing you want to watch for so if you are going to go to the beach on Saturday you got to go much earlier than you would have gone before just because of that once it hits 90 something degrees and the Sun is out everybody wants to run out but again the Sun might not be completely out but it's just going to be all that thickness in the air and for y'all people that got their hair did Saturday is not the day for you to go outside uh, it's too thick out there. The hair is going to go poof. So you just say, listen, I went all natural. Because when your hair is going to be poofing like that, you just went all natural. All right? So I'm just going to let you say that. Uh, what else is going to be happening? Uh, so the pollen is going to be up as well Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you so-called have allergies to the pollen, do not go outside without your regular medication. Um, or your, without your regular eye drops, you know. If you don't know, yeah, if you don't, if you don't have the, uh, the eye drops and you're in the hood, just ask anybody in the corner. They got eye drops, you know what I mean? <laughs> got to have the eye drops when you're outside, you know. We don't want nobody knowing our business. So um, just check it out again. If you do know elderly people out there, please check up on them. Make sure that they have uh, nice air conditioning. Make sure they have enough water and stuff like that. Uh, you know, because it is going to be tremendously hot. Uh, check up on your parents. Every, anybody that you know that's an elderly, even the neighbor. Make sure they got enough water. And uh, make sure that they have their home attendants are there. Because due to the heat, they might not even show up, you know. So just make sure that is happening. Kind of, so, but uh, we're going to get ready for a, a short break. Um, when I come back, I want to talk about sexy or trashy clothes and how old should you be to wear these clothes. Um, just because I've been seeing too much, the heat is coming out and, you know, there's been too much stuff going on here and we need to prevent anything for the future uh you know molesting rape uh kidnapping all these little things must be prevented so how how old should you be well when we come back we'll talk about it a little bit let's just hit some uh little music break of an independent artist here i don't know what we're going to play but we're going to play a good one we'll be right back <laughs> Baby, I never thought you never 
Hello and welcome back. That was a good song, right? I'm sorry if you guys, uh, it was a little too loud. We, we try to fix it, but it's a good song. I like it. Um, but anyway, yeah, I try, I try, I'm trying to go live here, but I don't see myself. Hey, I went uh, watch party, but I don't know what's going on with my watch party. But anyway, uh, so again, I want to say uh, thank you guys for Okay, there we go. I want to thank you guys for showing up. And remember, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? It's supposed to be in the 90s or 100. So make sure you guys are prepared. Uh, you know, make sure you have, if you don't have an AC, just make sure you have a good fan. If you don't have a fan, hey, hit the supermarkets, like I said. Hit the stores. Somewhere where you can stay indoors, where they have AC, you know. Go shoe shopping. Because girls go one store shoe shopping, they be there for five hours. So maybe maybe they know something we don't know. You know? You can be in the, in the mall for like five hours just walking around. And not wasting no money. I don't know. But anyway, hey, y'all girls do that. Y'all come back with one shoe. And that's the same shoe you just had on. So I don't know what, what y'all shopping. Don't, don't, don't boo me. Y'all know y'all girls shoe shopping takes you to five, six hours. Or go, or go to the salon and be like, I'm waiting for my wife. And you're not waiting for nobody. Because they be there for hours, too. No, but the song will be stinking with all the chemicals. No, no. Go to the mall. But anyway, just make sure you check up on the elderly, please. Uh, the last time we had a heat wave like this, few, we had lost a few elderly in uh, New York City due to the heat. So make sure they are uh, okay. And for your Spanish people, if you call your grandma and she be like, No te pude, I'm okay, mijo. Bull crap. Go check her. All right, because you know the elderly don't want help, so you go out check them. So that's what I gotta say. Make sure, and and also all the park events are being canceled because of the heat wave. So before you head out, make sure they're not canceled, because it'd be a waste of time. You go there, 
Well, you lose like a couple of pounds, you know what I'm saying, by going there. But still, just make sure. So shout outs to everyone that's uh, out there doing events and all that. It's a hard, hard, hard job. So support all these uh, people that do events and nonprofit events and stuff for the community. Support them as much as possible. Um, all right. So let's get to one of the topics that I put on my personal page, and it got a little bit of feedback on there. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Beetle or Ruben, m my brother-in-law, or my nephew who's watching. They be using everybody in that family be using everybody else's uh, thing. So just shout out to to them. Um, but anyway, I put this up, and I thought I was going to get a lot of people disagreeing. But I put down what age should you be before you wear sexy clothes or what I call sometimes trashy clothes. Um, for y'all people that don't know what trashy means, meaning that if you see a guy sees a girl in trashy clothes, they only thinking about hitting it. That's it. Ooh. But if they see a sexy girl with a nice sexy clothes, they be like, wow, that's cool. That's a person I, w I would date. That's a person I would be with for a long time. So that's a two different trashy hood rats, basically. I'm, I'm going to say it as it is. I know a lot of people, what? Ah, oh, my God, he said that word. Yes. Sexy. You know, they're sexy, like the long dresses, the uh, um, the spring dress. Uh, that's what they call that, right? The little spring dress. Those are sexy. The summer dress, whatever they call them. Those are sexy, you know. But then when you throw on those little high heel boots, now you're talking about moving towards the trashy area a little bit. But how old should you be? Especially, keep in mind, guys, that some of these 11 to 12 and 13-year-old girls are looking like they're 20-something years old. I, and the reason why I said this is because I was on the bus and these guys were looking at the little girl and she was about 9 to 10 years old. And I know it because the way she was um, speaking in Spanish, the, uh, the level of her, her voice. And I'm like, okay, so who are they looking at? And then I realized, okay, she's wearing the damn shorts with a big butt and it's coming out the shorts. I would have, ooh, if I was the dad, I would have been smacking the baby. And the mother for letting her out. I'm sorry. That's when, that's when, woo. Oh, oh, Lord. Take the wheel, like they say. Because if that was my daughter like that, no, 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 no. We have a friend that has an 11-year-old, right, I think. She's 10 or 11, no names, but she's like 10 or 11. She has a body of like a, at least 16 years old. And her mother be damned if she wears something like that. I remember one time we went to the pool and she was like, oh, my God, that. That, that thing, and it was too late because she already had the bathing suit out. But she was going crazy because she was wearing that bathing suit because she looked at way, way too old. So how old should a, a, a person be? Let me know. And shout out to Tara. Uh, you know, th this, this is being dedicated to my brother who has one year. Uh, he's, yeah, he's been resting for one year. So... Um, but anyway, um, I don't know. It, it's kind of a, a hard thing. I think it all depends on the body type of your, your daughter or the little girl. 13, 14 years old and she doesn't really have a body, maybe. But Daisy Dukes, no. No, 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 no. Shirts up to here, I don't care what you got. No body, body, still. I don't, I don't think that's a, a proper way to go. So, I'm just saying, comment below, either, I, I can't see some of your comments because I'm on my, my phone on Facebook, watch, but uh, if you comment below, the engineer will tell me. I had a lot of people saying 13, 14, I had some people, even mothers saying, hell no, when they leave out, that's when they can be sexy. Other people said 18, 19. But then some people that commented 14 or 15, I was like, um, did you see your daughter lately? Just saying. I'm just saying. Don't comment if you have your child out like that. Uh, proms, uh, Sweet 16, stuff like that, I can see. Like they want to be a little more sexy and showing more cleavage and stuff like that. That's okay. That's sexy because that's a prom and all that. But going out in the streets, 
and then, you know, or you go and, what about this one? I, I was coming uh, the other day to the studio, and there was a mother looking like she was doing a competition with her daughter. Both had Daisy Dukes on, you know, both trying to be all trashy. First of all, your mother. I, ooh, I know I probably got all these people out there. What? I'm a mother. I can dress like that. Yes, I know. I, I know you can dress like that. It's just the point of, do you really need to dress like that? and have the competition with your daughter because that's what it looks like. Like what? you're trying to be young. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a sexy person. I like sexy females dressing sexy, not trashy. I don't know. Because if I look at you and you're dressing trashy, I really won't respect you. As a real man, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I have a lot of people who uh, teeth off at the moment, uh, a lot of females, but I, I'm, a, I'm a person that if I dated you for a couple of days or a month, it's just because it was something to do. But to have a relationship with you, you have to be at least something sexy because sexy is attractive. And attractive is your brain and the way you dress and the way you hold yourself. So I'm just saying because summer is coming, ladies. I don't want you guys out there thinking that these guys like you. Then they start using you. Winter comes, they throw you away. Then you ha you're heartbroken. Or you wind up pregnant and the guy is not even there no more. These are things that the females need to worry about. Uh, just because. I'm, I'm a man and I'm going to say it the way it is. You know. Shout outs to everybody that has, you know. And shout outs to my niece. She just had a child as well. But not once I see my niece dressed trashy. Not in front of me, that is. I, I, I don't know, and never put pictures up. So, shout outs to her, you know what I'm saying? Th these are little things that you need to, to worry about. Because some of these girls, I'm telling you, uh, when I be out in, in the field and giving autographs, I be shocked like some of these girls that be wanting autographs. I'm like, you, oh my God, ah. No, whoa, whoa. First of all, back it up. Bring down the voice, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll sign it, but from long distance because I, I, I'm, ooh, I'm not in the Me Too movement moment right now. So, uh, shout out to Tara. She said, I seen little girls' dresses appropriate for school and then change clothes in the school bathroom. So sometimes parents don't even know. That is so, so true. Um, when cases happen like that, parents, I know as parents, we are so busy. But we need to try to take that moment to figure out what the kids are doing. Because now we're in the, in the age of following. So these girls want to follow a so-called trend. A so-called trend that they don't understand that it's going to get them in trouble. Because they're going to have these guys trying to talk to them and saying, Oh my God, oh, I, I, you know, I loved you from afar, you know. I seen you. I really thought you were cool. Um, first of all, bullcrap, if I see a girl from long distance, I don't see her brain, I don't see if she's cool, I don't see if she's educated, I don't even see if she got money or nothing. The first thing a person always see, men and women, is how you look. So, take that in mind, girls. I'm just, like, throwing this message out there because it is summertime, and I'm seeing a lot of girls wearing these clothes that... It's not going to be fitted for you. Um, it's not, yeah, you want to show your body, but do you really want to find a, a man in that way or a person in that way? No. You're going you're gonna to be, gonna be like, like we call that freestyle song, Summer Love. Summer Love. You know, that's it. That's all. I don't want to sing the whole song because then I, I got to pay for it. You know, basically that's what you're going to get. So... When a guy says, meets you and says, oh, my God, I had to go meet you because I thought you were cool, you know, and no, no. Fellas, let's be real. Run across the street and be like, yo, girl, I thought you were good looking. I, you know, I see the way you're walking and those skimpy pants. I, you know. Need something for the imagination, please. You know. I know it's hot. I wish, you know, I, I can't say I can wish we'd be walking naked, but, you know. Leave that for the house, I'm saying. But uh, watch your kids. It is summer, please. 
people uh, watch the kids the way they're dressing because, yeah, if you actually go on, uh, well, I still have access to the law library in PA, and they have this thing where you can find out where all the uh, sex offenders are, you're going to be shocked to see how many are them around your area. Now, I'm not saying they're all sex offenders, because maybe some of them just went out with someone that was young, and, you know, it was consent, but it's against the law. There's many issues, but the rapists, rapist ones are the ones you have to watch for. There are kids being missing. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but there's kids being missing a lot. Uh, in this past two months, there was five girls missing, and these are teenagers. So, come on, guys. The reason why is because of the way they're acting they, and the way they dress. So, why is it? That's I want to. I'm talking to the parents now. Why is it that you think that the kids are acting this way? Shout uh, out to Sonia. She just comment below as to it is mindset sometimes that starts at home. Not, not at all times as peer pressure plays a part. Yet, I've heard parents in um, reference to toddlers saying, Oh, she looks so sexy in her little two-piece. Be, care be careful, see more. That is so true. The words you say to a child plays a real, uh, real part as well. So, if you're telling your kid, Wow, you're a little too sexy with that two-piece, then you need to take it off. And anyway, a toddler shouldn't be wearing a two-piece. I think she would be wearing a one. If you leave it up to me, my daughter would have been wearing a whole none piece until like she like 30 or 40. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just exaggerating. But, you know, again, if your girl is 13, yeah, if your, your daughter is 13 and has a body of 18 or 19 years old, slim it down. Slim it down. Uh, because at that age, they are pretty much like a three-year-old, a sponge again. So they think that everybody likes them or want to be with them or want to hang with them. And here comes that wrong person because seeing that she has a body of a 19 years old or more is trying to influence her in a different sense of the way. And there has been cases where pretty much in Pennsylvania and that I seen where the girl left with the man and never told the parents about him and everything and then wind up dead or more or worse. So I'm just telling you well more than uh, my engineer was like what's worse than death? Being uh, raped, beaten, left almost for dead and then you stay alive with all those memories for the rest of your life. That's pretty worse. Uh, because you have to carry that for the rest of your life. So, and the scars and the and the inside and outside. So, be careful. I'm just saying uh, there are, are better things out there than just to try to be dressed like that. So, that's my little uh, what they call that PSA or something, right? That's my little PSA because I just been seeing too many little girls dress. Uh, too prerogative, I, I guess how they, how they say it? Provocative. Wow, now you're provoking people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and then I, I feel bad because I'm like, wow. I'll be seeing some grown men, and I always say that term, know your level. Um, you got to know your level also as, a, as an adult. How you, why are you talking to these little girls? And it's always these drug dealers or drug addicts, and you, you know, trying to talk to these girls in the streets and <laughs> the girls are laughing he liked me no he liked to do you not know you there's two different things okay girls I'm, I'm just saying I know people out there are probably upset because I'm saying it but or some guys are like yo why are you throwing my game out out there like that you know what I'm saying you just need to get slapped guy if you if you if you're trying to talk to a 13 year old you need to get slapped I'm just I'm just serious I'm serious out there you know what I'm saying so, watch out. That's my little PFA right there. PSA, sorry. You know. Uh, whew, it just gets me upset. I can, when I see little girls like that, and then I see... No, I see pictures of past cases that I've seen 
where, you know, things that happen with little girls um, being pushed into the fake love by these guys or what I, who I call, not guys or men or kids, predators. That's who they are. Because if you can go being 20-something, 30, 40 years old trying to talk to underage kids because they look more than their age, you're called a predator in my eyes. That's all I got to say. Uh, shout outs a little bit more of the news. Puerto Rico is fighting to get their governor out because they found uh, 889 pages of him talking smack about homosexuals, about Puerto Rico themselves. They found out that the government here, United States, was giving them money and giving them stuff, but they were holding it and not giving it out to the people. They found those letters. And then when they did give it out to the people, they said it was from them and it wasn't from the United States. And then they found out that they took some of the stuff and gave it to the people in the, uh, the government. So, but protesting, guys, you're doing it all wrong. So I'm hoping someone in Puerto Rico is watching this. You guys are doing it all wrong. You're destroying uh, Sang Wang, old Sang Wang, to make a point. A point of what? That you can destroy? You know? You guys ever, uh, hello Annie, Rose, Perez. <laughs> Gotta say hello to you too. Um, but you, uh, you ever like got upset in your house one time and just slapped something and it broke? Or threw something against the wall and it broke? And like 10 minutes later, you were like trying to put it back. Give me the glue, baby. I didn't want to break this. I didn't want. Well, that's what you're doing to Sang Wong. You're breaking everything. And then at the end, you're going to be like, wow, why did we destroy this? Because you're stupid. I, I, I say it straight out. I, I don't care no F, FSD or whatever these people are. They're going to try to shut me down because I'm, I'm saying improper words. But you're stupid. Do not destroy your own hometown to make a point. Come on, didn't the storm did enough damage to Puerto Rico? Now you just want to do damage to whatever's left, just to make a point? I don't, I don't really think that's cool, to damage. So save Puerto Rico by opening your mouths and getting together, not by breaking and destroying your own city. It's enough that we still, not we, you know, I'm talking like it's me that's over there, but... It's still enough that you have to build what the storm destroyed. So come on. You know, you guys went 10 steps forward in building, and now you're destroying. You went 20 steps back. So for me, that is, that is like, tee me off. But it also makes me sad to see that the Latin people are doing this and setting us backwards instead of going forward. So let's protest and get him out the correct way, all right? So, hey, I'm with you. You want to protest the right way, but as soon as you start throwing rocks, I'll be like, I'm seeing you. I'm, I'm, I got to go because I'm not going to be one of those. And if you're so bold into breaking the buildings, take off those masks. Let's see who you really are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, covering your faces, throwing stuff like that because you know it's wrong. Because anybody that's covering their face know it's wrong. Show yourself. If you're really bad and bold, show who you are breaking the buildings down. And I guarantee you don't want to show your face because you got one of those mothers that will come out with the chancleta and start smacking you up. You know what I'm saying? What you doing protesting here and blah, blah, blah with the chancleta and then you be going home embarrassed. That's probably why you don't want to take the mask off. Because I remember back in the days that, that lady that, that noticed it was her son, that black um, uh, mother, that noticed by the eyes it was her son and went to the protest and whipped his butt. Like, what you doing here protesting like this and whipped his butt? That boy right now to this day, he's a straight-A student, so... <laughs> Shout-outs to him. Uh, yeah, uh, Annie Rose said, that's right. No need to destroy our heritage. Very true. Things can be done in the correct way. And what you got? Who said that? Uh, Rosa oh, yeah. She said it's a shame what's going on. Uh, Rose said it's... Oh, uh, uh, Rose? Rosa Perez. 
Oh, Rosa Perez Bassett said it's a shame what is going on. Um, I'm trying to get to all your comments because we do have three chat rooms open, so we're trying to get as much as possible. But it is so true. It is a shame. And I'm already emotional because of uh, today is an emotional you know, day for me. Uh, but then to hear that our people are destroying the heritage and the history of what I've been fighting for for these past couple years for people to learn our history. Half of those stuff there, the statues, the, the buildings are our history. That's why they call it Old San Juan. That is our history. Please, people, don't destroy our history. We need it. Go some other direction. Go some other way. Please. Uh, yeah, that, it, it is very powerful. I'm sorry, I'm reading uh, comments here, and I'm just thinking of, uh, of my brother, what he was, <laughs> what he would say at this moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, take your Puerto Rican cards away. That, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Because you're not thinking right. You know, we're Puerto Ricans. If you want the government out, wait for them and throw them with a chancleta. Oh, that's all I got to say. You got the Noomchuk chancleta. You got the boomerang chancleta. You know, shoot it out there. Blow, hit Richard in the eye. He'd be out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just got to throw a little comedy in there. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, he doesn't want to get out, so they have to force him out. So, but in other words, in other news, in political news, the the chump guy. This is my my last news before I take a commercial break. The chump guy uh, was saying a lot of racist stuff, and a lot of people are knowing what's going on about that. So it's an incredible uh, thing how they did not want to throw him out. It was 195, uh, 194, I think it was, 197, something like that, percentage to impeach, to start the impeachment again, and they lost, so now they have to go back and try again. So my whole concept of how the world is going, we have Puerto Ricans destroying their own hometown. Then we have a United States that are allowing a president to say and do what he wants. Uh, that's hard. That's hard. And it's so funny, uh, I don't like to mess up people's jokes, but I seen a, a video with this guy making a joke saying that we have uh, N-word on the presidency. And he said that it's because if you wake up, if you were in a coma for 20 years or, or 10 years, you wake up right now and someone says to you, yeah, we got a, uh, a president that molested someone, touched someone, talked crap about females, is racist, says a lot of things. The guy in the coma says, who is that N-word? That's why we have an uh, uh, end person on the, uh, you know, on the stage. I don't want to say the, the real thing, but he does a lot of end people things. <laughs> he, he, and he's getting away with it, guys. Come on. What, what he got? One more year? I think, like one more year? Let's vote. I don't want him back. I don't, I, some, someone like that doesn't deserve to be back. Telling people to, to go back to your hometown, to your own town. Um, Trump, uh, you need to go back to your hometown. All the white people need to go back to their hometown. Because this wasn't your hometown to begin with. You stole it. So you want to talk about being immigrants? Let's talk about it. We all are. We don't belong here. You stole it and then you bring us here. You know what I'm saying? So, come on. We don't got no fault. We, hey, we were brought here. So, you know, we just said, hey, you brought us here. We're just going to stay. You know what it is? And, and you notice we do that all the time now. If we move to a new town, we bring everybody with us. It's just in, in the mindset, I guess. <laughs> That's why when they see a black or Puerto Rican, they're like, oh, it goes the, the whole neighborhood. Because they know we're going to bring our 
family and stuff. When I moved to PA, after school, I, I got my own house. I started bringing my family over and stuff. My sisters came over. <laughs> so that's what you did, Trump. So you don't belong here either, you know? And I seen a photo on Instagram that was kind of funny but kind of sad. It had uh, the Indians building a war, and it said, this is what we should have done many years ago. They should have built a war and keep every white person out. Um, so it's a sad way, and it's a sad thing, but uh, yes, let's, uh, let's vote, because we can't have a guy like this degrading, degrading woman, you know, telling people to go back. Tell your wife to go back, matter of fact, you know? Your wife don't even want to be with you. If you notice his wife haven't been around, where is she? Do you know? Do you know, engineer? You don't know where his wife been at? Nobody has seen her. Where? I just seen like three um, pests. Um, pest. <laughs> he is a pest. Press um, conference, and she wasn't there. She don't want to be around him. Maybe, maybe she's like, you know what? I can't wait till this be over so I can leave. I'm just here for an image. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, girl. She, he's downgrading your people, too, and you're just taking it. But anyway, let's take another break. When we come back, we just remember while I'm taking the break. Chancleta, people, for the Puerto Rico. Let's not destroy Puerto Rico. And use that same chancleta and smack the hell out of Trump. That's what I got to say. We'll be right back.
can't do this no more You stay the same, I'm growing for sure I'm out of time, I wish I could Take you with me I tried my best to keep you clean You pushed me away so I guess I'll leave Can't take it back, just remember LDM show. Uh, sorry about that. I was texting somebody as we were talking. Well, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to be speaking to you guys for the rest of the hour. Our guests uh, disappeared. I guess they didn't like what they seen or something. They came and left. Uh, we haven't heard from them. So, hey, stuff happens. Show goes on still. But I love talking to the uh, and um, conversating with with the people. So. We're going to keep on this conversation, but when I left, uh, Sonia said the system is set up to divide as this is how it is conquered and we who segregate ourselves against our own lose. We do lose if we uh, go against our own. Don't let them divide us. And that's what they're doing. They are dividing you and making you destroy a lot of stuff. So. You don't want to do that. Please don't do that. Keep it, keep it going. But uh, we did have some good songs right there from uh, the LDM radio station. You know, so if you like those songs, go to the LDMRadio.com and and listen to some more of the music. And uh, there, they'll tell you the days that are more majority of of a category. So you can go on there and find out. But uh. Again, we were talking, if you guys missed, we were talking about dressing sexy versus trashy for little girls, and then we were talking about Puerto Rico, and then we were talking about Trump. 
So now, I want to talk about the best places to go in the summer without breaking your bank. There's a lot of places to go. A lot of people think that you have to spend money to go out and have a good time. I, say, I always say when you're going somewhere, it's to make memory, not to break your pockets. Right? Especially if you're still in New York. It's 250 with 20 bucks. 20 bucks. If you don't believe me, get 20 bucks, come and see me. We go out and we hang, and you come back, you're going to come. And that's because 250 or 275 for the train, right? Something like that. So you need about $5 for the train, and then, you know, what? 550 okay, so you need 550 for the train. So about 1450 left, we're going to hang. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, you can eat. They got um, um, dollar twenty-five um, pizzas. They got two two pizzas for. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. You figure it out. You get ham and cheese or something from your house. You bring it with you. you get the water from your house. You can bring it with you. There's certain places, certain things you do. We went. Uh, we went miniature golfing. We went. Um, where else? Oh, to the park to play. Got wet, everything. Climbed the loop. My son climbed the rocks. We did all that, and we spent like 50 bucks. That's it. And that's because we wanted to eat out. If not, I would not spend the 50 bucks. We'd spend $21, $22, I think it was, on just going miniature golfing to the park, hanging out. We went to the ship. We went to a museum ship. We went to all these places for $22. Right? No, that's Subway not included. I'm talking about the thing. Yeah, the 550, that's something. But it didn't break our bank. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know some people be like, wow, that's crazy. You cheap. No, I'm not cheap. I'm just trying to have fun. But we had a good time. We didn't want it to end. There's parks you can go to that have, there's free events that you guys can go to with the family. Um, well, probably not this Saturday. Double check. But like I said, there's a heat wave, so a lot of the stuff are going to probably be shut down because of the heat wave. But there's a lot of places you can go. If you guys are uh, watching or, or listening, comment below and let me know which place that you went to that you had a lot of fun and you didn't spend more than 50 bucks. And I'm not talking about one person spending 50 bucks. I'm talking about like you, your wife, or your husband, or your, your partner. Because now i got to be politically correct nowadays, you know what I'm saying? I can't say husband or wife. i got to say partners, too. Um, and a child or, or your whole family, you know? Uh, Wednesdays, it's free to go to Bronx Zoo. $15 to go to anything that you want to do. So I took my son, and we had a whole day out there. We didn't spend no money, just the $30 and the bus fare. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, we did eat nuggets. We did eat nuggets because uh, my son wanted the nuggets from there. So, you know, we did those things. But like I said, it is summertime. There's probably things you can do to not spend so much money out there, especially if you're trying to save up for the winter, you know, because that's what you should be doing, saving up for the winter. I'm going to show you a little clue, a little tip, which I'm going to have to go back on to because I used to be doing that before. Taking 10 to $20 out of your paycheck, putting it into a bank where you don't have one card at, you don't have a card, you know, they're going to give it to you, but you take that card and you put it somewhere and don't even look at it. Don't leave it in your wallet, no nothing. Like a savings account. $20 or something, or $10, whatever you could, out of your paycheck every single week. Don't even touch it. When you come to see after a while, you know, you're going to have a little extra money. If you do some side job, you know, like a babysitting or, or you drove somebody somewhere and someone gave you another 20 bucks, throw that 20 bucks in there too. Because in, the, in reality, you didn't have it anyway. Somebody gave it to you. You know, you did a little something, something, and you wind up getting a little, another 20 bucks. Add it in there. Uh, a lot of financial people say, you put a dollar 
a day, and then the next month you start with $2 a day, and the next month you start with $3 a day, those are the rich people. We can't do that because I, my, my limit is probably a dollar a day or $2 a day. After that, I, I can't follow you. But um, $10, $20 a week or 50 if you could. But you got to put money away that you're not going to see and you're not going to worry about. It's not breaking you. You know what I'm saying? Because I know some people can go out there and, and spend $10 and it, it don't bother them because it's $10. Some people. That $10 that don't bother you, put that in the bank. You know, we're going to start, we have to start doing it ourselves, you know. I, I just started doing a budget plan of what we can spend and goodness gracious, I, if I can sneeze, I, I will sneeze, but right now I can't because I can't afford the tissue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, because we had to put away because we have, you know, future plans, that's why. Uh, so, shout out to everyone that's watching. Oh, Coquito Rose. <laughs> Rose Coquito, and everybody, yeah, Rosemary. Uh, shout outs to you. Sonia's still watching, so shout outs to Survivor I Am. She, you know, and again, I, I know I mentioned uh, a week or so ago, she will be having an event. I just found out her event is canceled due to the heat wave. So you can't go to her event on Saturday. Uh, another event that was canceled was Christmas in July by uh, Apollonia Cruz. That has been canceled to the next Saturday. Uh, poetry in the Park was canceled to the date it still says to be t determined. Um, so before you go out there Saturday, uh, double check because it is going to hit 90s to the 100s. So, Oh, somebody commented on the LDM network. Let me, let me, it's too long. Rosa Perez said, the right and left side are, are trying to get every race to fight against each other. So the rich can sit and laugh at us. People need to educate themselves so they can really know who to vote for. You know, yes, uh, yeah, if you guys don't know, I was speaking about how Puerto Rico is destroying their own country. Why, while, not why, but while the other people are sitting down and relaxing. And that after the smoke and the uh, fire and everything, rinse from and everything is gone, and you can see clearly, you're going to see how stupid you were to destroy your own city. History and everything else is being destroyed. So... I don't know. Is it, is it because it's summer? Why do people get a little crazy during the summer? It's like, you know, when you let a dog out for the first time and they're running in the grass, they're running like crazy and you can't even stop them, and you don't know why they're running back and forth, back and forth. That's how what people are doing nowadays. What we need to do is say, you know what, before anything, breathe. That's the freest thing that the heavens blessed us with that can calm you down. Taking that deep breath and say, whew. What am I mad and what is going on? It's still free, guys. Try it. As soon as you, as soon as you get pissed, just, oh, God. Woo. Or like some people say, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, Jesus, take the wheel before I grab this guy by his neck. It's the same thing. Take a breath. So, Louis Torres, good afternoon, good afternoon. Is it afternoon or it's evening? But, uh, yes. Hello. <laughs> it's evening, though, but good, good evening to you. Uh, and I was just reading the comments below. That's why. But, uh, again, if you guys were waiting for our guest, um, apparently they disappeared with the wind. Uh, maybe they were dressing too sexy and someone took them. No, they wasn't dressed sexy? No. They probably just didn't like what they seen and they left. Uh, they probably thought they were coming to the NBC studio and didn't notice that they didn't have NBC studio money. So, I don't know. We don't know what happened. Um, we're trying, trying to figure it out. They were here and then they left. But any, anyway, hey, like I said, one person doesn't stop us. We keep on moving, and I love to talk to the audience more than anything. I, you know, 
I could, I could sit here and speak to you guys because I love the comments that y'all yeah, say. So, back again to the news. We uh, are having the heat wave, so make sure you, you that's already clear. I, I'm, I'm going to keep on saying it because we need to worry about it. Worry about grandma, grandpa, and the neighbors, please. I, I can't stress them about it. So, back to spending less money. There are places to go um, that you can spend less money. I've seen people going to the beach, you know. But you know what I don't see that much of people going to the beach? Like my mom used to do. She used to pack up sandwiches, uh, water, soda. Oh, we, we do that. Spanish people be cooking the day before. They be coming out with the big, you know, big, the big pot out of their, their cooler that has the rice in it. And you be seeing them serving rice in the beach. We don't care because we're saving money and having fun. These are little things that you need to do. But if you are going to the beach, you're going to come out dark like me if you don't put that little lotion, you know, that little lotion thing. You know what I'm saying? So uh, make sure you put that little lotion. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for sitting down and uh, I hope in the AC area like I am and just relaxing and talking to me. So thank you for that. I'll see you guys next week when we'll be uh, speaking more about some of the news. Hopefully, I have better news about Puerto Rico. Um, let's see what happens. So, you know, real good. Oh, real quick before we leave, the Maqueta in New York City has given up their fight of putting swing music on Saturdays. They are going to be putting salsa music back again. So that is the power of... That is the power of your voice and the power of getting together. So people in Puerto Rico, you need to pay attention. We did it. Shout out to Lizzie. Yeah, shout out to Lizzie. She's one of the people. She's one of our photographers, and she photographs so many, many stuff. She uh, put it out there. She was protesting and pushing it and pushing it. So the word said a lot. We didn't have to break nothing. And they're putting the sights on music back again. So that's my uh, thing. Guys, thank you again for watching us and having a little moment with us. And hopefully I said something that hit the brain and you'll have fun. So enjoy yourself. Drink a lot of water and stay indoors if you have to. See you next week. He's got me. He's guilty of loving me in the